<laughs> Man, my boy Mike Busey just showed me a pair of Elvis's glasses, bro. Reading glasses. He ain't coming up off of them. But hey, Mike, when you, if you ever want to, if you ever think about it, and I give you my Lamborghini for him. You think I'm joking? I'm a, I'm a diehard Elvis fan, bro. If somebody's slick, you just gotta be slickerier. Dude, I'm so glad I'm back to my normal self. Just say whatever the feel, and I don't even feel bad for it. Unless I came out of your vagina or you're my sibling, I don't give a shit what you think. And everyone watching this should be like that also. That's a good way to be. <laughs> people wonder why I always have like good jokes and am good at making fun of people. Because one, it's my job. Two, all the content literally falls at your goddamn feet, dude. There's people signing up right now to go eight years at school to be a lawyer to go to court to defend gay cereal box. Then you got all these small brain people out here. They're like, how dare you talk about gay cereal box? Listen, I know you think you're special because you and your partner have the same ting ting downstairs, whatever. But that doesn't matter to us. We don't, nobody really, really cares what you do at your house. You just want everyone to know like, hey, look at me. I do gay. The thing is, why do you buy that colorful cereal most of the time for a child? Well, here's the thing. It doesn't matter if it was a straight flag. You still don't need straight sex and somebody's preference on the front of a children's cereal box. Well, it's not just for kids, it's for adults too. Okay, dummy, but it's mostly for kids. It's got cartoons on the front. The thing is, in your head, you think you're doing something important by taking up for this gay cereal box. Next thing you know, you'll see some grimace with a megaphone on Facebook being like, we will not eat straight cereal. We will not eat straight cereal. Yeah, people like me are the crazy ones. Yeah, we're the ones on drugs. We're the ones that are out of touch with reality. This chick a minute ago who looked like Takashi 6 9 Of course she's going to comment on this post, right? Okay, she gets on there and she goes, I can't believe you guys. Like, seriously, like, you look so effing gross. Look at you. You're on here writing these big goddamn long paragraphs. As I'm reading, I'm hearing, uh, 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 just because it's a long book. <laughs> and you know what? Put as much effort into getting a degree as they do taking up for inanimate objects on Facebook. Well, we'd, we'd be in pretty damn good shape. So yeah, if you're been out of shape or mad because this post, still don't care, the world's tough, suck it up. So to all my alpha male boys out there, keep slanging it fucking. We need to give America more alpha males and less sissies. And to all my women out there fucking, all my real women that ain't Karens, thank y'all, y'all are hot in the world right now. And that's the thing, man. We live in a world now where they want to brainwash everybody to suck some D, metaphorically speaking. And they give the internet like this God complex all the time. You know what I mean? And, and to somebody who has very normal base thinking, like myself, when I see somebody commenting on something, they're like, well, if you don't do this, I'm unfollowing. What do, I, what do you say to that? Like, that doesn't mean anything to me. I care about things like, like actual physical relationships. Uh, I care about my friends. I care about my work ethic, uh, my parents, um, my siblings. I care about things that matter. I don't, I don't really care what anyone says on the internet. It just, it's a, it's a form of content for me because you're living in like a Hollywood world now, dude. Everybody is starting to think like that for real. That is not healthy, bro. It's not healthy. And I, I'm starting to notice this now that I'm having this long break and I'm actually, my brain is getting some rest. It's bringing me back to reality. Like, I never was so far gone from reality or nothing. It's just, I got soaked up in other things I thought that mattered, like that on the internet. When I, dude, I'm about to walk out this door the happiest in the world. Like I said, I got a beautiful girlfriend, beautiful family, beautiful everything. Everything's fine. Like... This whole internet thing, y'all really think y'all doing something to me, but you just keeping me young, dude. You really are just keeping me young, so thank you. All right, all right, all right. It's beautiful outside. 
I'm gonna go to Ghost Ranch and do something cool. You guys wanna come with me? All y'all dudes out there, I know y'all see them pretty girls in my comments. All them pretty skinettes. The ones that are saying, hey, that man was just trying to eat a sandwich. Them ones, yeah, them's the DMs you need to slide in. Them's the real women, buggin'. They'll lay a smack down on you, yeah. Then they'll hop on your four wheeler, then make you a sandwich. Them's the real women. But, you gotta be nice to them, man. Can't be cheating on them, can't be talking smack to them. You gotta snatch them up and make them fall in love with you, boy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we at Ghost Ranch. A little slice of country heaven. I'm gonna organize it in this YouTube barn, clean up some stuff, start my four wheelers, let them run. And uh, anybody who hates me, your time to shine, baby. We're doing the question thing, but only from haters. Oh, so if you don't like me, today's your day to shine, boo boo. Type whatever you want. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna multitask, clean, organize some, and answer questions. All right. I'm headed to my favorite spot in the entire world right now. It ain't much, but it's my favorite spot in the world. I'm only an asshole when I need to be. Otherwise, I'm a sweetheart. Most of the time, a sweetheart. Not a hater, but how are you so humble? You're actually so down to earth and genuine. Love you. Love you too. It's just because I was raised. I could have just this field, and I'd be the happiest person in the world. What's the worst trouble you've been in with the police? Uh, it wasn't so much the police, but when I was 17 and in high school, I smashed this mom. I didn't know she had a husband because she didn't tell me, and he tried to come kill me with a shotgun. I'm a fan, but you were a little bit rude to the cop who was just doing his job. Okay. Why do you assert how country you are? Because the new age of country is what is on your body. The old way of country, how I grew up, is in your heart, and you can't get that. You can't manufacture that. <laughs> I'm going to be real with you, bro. It was either cancel the shows for one year or pull all my music off iTunes and quit forever. I don't have so many girlfriends. I've had a lot of girlfriends. But to answer your question, I know how to treat girls. <laughs> I'm a southern gentleman. Because I felt like it. I was hungry and not bothering no one. Yeah. I don't. I think people think I think that. Yeah. Nobody's better than anybody. <laughs> you ain't got to act mad at me. I'm just trying to clean house a little bit. We got some uh, softies up in here, and we need to get them mugs out of here. Not hating, but I'll admit I was a little disappointed to see you leave the dad roll behind so fast. Oh, if I could have left it behind faster, I would. Yeah, I'm not gonna stay with somebody who tries to my security guards. <laughs> Do your girlfriends always look like dogs? <laughs> Doggy stab. <laughs> Love you both. Well, haters don't want none, I guess. I'm gonna take a nap under this tree. Love you guys. Take a nap under this tree.